All we need is f prime, f of x, 0 to 8. Nothing else. That's exactly what we are asked to study. Just 0 to 8. Good. So I will find the first derivative, f prime of x. Remember, the best for cube root is to change it into x to 1 third. For the square root, it's easy because we know the formula. But for the cube root, always change it. Bring down 1 third and then x to 1 third minus 1, which is negative 2 thirds. So remember that power is negative. So this is, goes to the denominator, the cube root of x squared. It's never 0 because a fraction is 0 only when the top is 0, but the top is 1, so it can never be 0. But what about the sign of, of this expression? This is positive, this is positive. What about the sign of this? That's always going to be positive. Very good. I don't have anything to put in here, but definitely this must be the absolute minimum, and this must be the absolute maximum. And when I plug in 0, I get 0. When I plug in 8, I get 2. So 0, 0 must be the absolute min. And 8, 2 must be the absolute max. No local. No local or relative max or min. Because these are the endpoints of the interval. The local max min cannot be at the endpoints. Okay, let's look at uh, a word problem now. Okay, so let's say according to this model, in what year uh, production had an absolute minimum? What was the minimum? Okay. So um, this is one one possibility. We have to use a calculator to determine because we we cannot solve this equation, of course. If you want to do this, if you want to do, I don't know, unemployment, it doesn't matter to me. So we are given, as you see, according to this model, in what year during the period. So we, have, we are given a closed interval. This is our closed interval from 2003 to two, a, a 10 year uh, span, 2003 to 2013. Was this percentage a, a maximum? Yes? Is this okay? Okay. I, I didn't hear anything, so I, I decided on my own. So P of X, it says percentage of unemployment, unemployed workers in service um, occupations can be modeled by, okay, negative 0.039x cubed plus 0.594x squared minus 1.967x plus 7.555. x is the number of years, so x equals 0 represents the year 2003, and x equals 10 will represent 2013. Okay, perfect. So where was the maximum? No problem. We will just simply repeat what we just did. From 0 to 10, and this is p prime, and this is p of x. I have to um, find the derivative, set it equal to 0, find if there is a solution. I'm sure you will. we will find solutions, put it in, and then study on that interval. So p prime, I'm just going to write it, uh, negative 0 0.039 times 3 times x squared plus 0.594 times 2 times x and minus 1.967. And I'm just going to enter it because I have to set, set it equal to 0. I don't need those coefficients. I will enter them as they are. So, yeah, let me see if uh, I have this feature in the software, because I have not tried. Yes, I have it. Good, that's even better. So let me do it there. So yes, yes, and it's degree two, yes. Um, how do I click on next here? 
How do I click on next? Probably uh, graph on your on oh, the left I side. I think I have to go down. Uh, okay, I have to jump. How how do I? No, just click on graph on the left. Graph on the left or graph on the right? Right where your mouse is. Okay, right got it. Good. Thank you. So uh, negative point zero three nine times three. You should calculate it for me. Okay, uh, then it's positive and it's point five nine four. Calculate it for me, please. And the last one is negative uh, one point nine six seven. Okay. And now, uh, how do I get to solve? Same thing, graph again. Really? Look at that. Excellent. So I get x equals 2.08 and x equals 8.07. Awesome. Okay. Good. So then I put them in the table. So I have 2.08 and 0 and 8.07 and 0. And now I have to study the sign. When, and I have, I want the function in there. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. I meant this. Okay, I want this. Okay, so I have negative point zero three nine. I don't need to do this because I know it's quadratic. So I'll stop because I know it's quadratic. Between the solutions will be the opposite sign. So between the solutions will be positive. But you know how to do it, right? You just plug in numbers, plug in 0, plug in 5, and plug in 10, and you'll get that. But now I have to plug in these numbers, although I already know what the answer would be. This is right here in 2008. Oops. In 2008. No, it's eight years from 2003. Sorry. X equals zero is 2003. So 2011. Let me cross it up. 2011 is the maximum. I study the sign, so this is definitely the maximum. But to be exact, I should determine these numbers. I'm just running out of time. That's why I'm trying to finish. Let me see. It's just one minute. I can show you. You can leave anytime you want. So let me finish it up. I have to put in um, where is our function? OK, here it is. So negative 0 0.039x cubed. And then I have plus 0.594x squared. And then I have minus 1.967x and positive 7.555. OK. And I want all these numbers. I'm going to determine all of them. For 0, of course. Then I want for 2.08. Then I want for 8.07. And finally for 10. And now I have everything in the table correctly. So the first one, of course, was 7.55. The next one was 5.68. Of course, the next one has to be 9.87. And the last one, 8.29. And I'm going to stop sharing. Thank you for being patient. So obviously, from 7, it drops to 5. Then it goes up to 9. And then from 9, down to 8. So this is exactly what we're looking for. In the year 2011, 